Hi, and welcome to episode three of Two Crafty Stitches. My name is Sandy, also known as Knits and Bits. And I'm Kelly, also known as Pearly Girl 75. Um, as I said, today is our third episode. It is April 26th. And um, I came back from Atlanta. What has it been? Like a week? I think a week. Yeah. Um, training was really good, and I was able to um, stop off at Eat Sleep Knit. And it was yes, great. It was the yarn stores that I've been able to go to have been really small. So when I found the place, I didn't realize how large it was going to be. So I I think I was in there for a few hours browsing, trying to uh, not take everything home, sending pictures to me. Yes. Look and at what I'm going to buy. Yes, and you not responding, so... I was... I'm <laughs> sorry, I was working. <laughs> so I reached out to my sister, I'm like, I need help. I have all of these in my hand. Help me limit. Which I got done working and, <laughs> you know, it had a little break. It checked my phone and saw these messages and pictures of yarn. And I was like, you should buy these. You're like, I already did. <laughs> you wouldn't have <laughs> me buy everything. Yes. So at least my sister was uh, the voice of reason. Hmm. Um... <laughs> Well, uh, at Eat Sleep Knit, I got some uh, Handmaiden in the Casbah, and rock yeah. the Casbah, rock the Casbah. <laughs> yeah, we were doing that earlier. Just a little bit. And Sandy <laughs> said I had to do it in the podcast, so there you go. Awesome. <laughs> it's uh, these beautiful reds with a little bit of an orangish red, and then like a darker purple red. Just... And some bulm, I said, that's like in those colors, I think. I have or had. I know I have a red one, and I had one that was, like, red with an orange in it. That was very similar. Yes, because your red one's more, it looks more pink. No, that's my pink one. I have another one that is red, and I had two of them, because I had one that was in a, in a club from the Loopy U, which um, had, like, it was, like, pillars of fire or something. I don't know. Oh. And, and it had, like, some orange in it, and I didn't really, it wasn't me. And then I ended up with a different red somehow, because I remember. Oh, yeah, yes. I remember that. Yeah. Yes. So I sold, I think, one of them on Ravelry or de-stashed it or something. But anyway, that reminds me of it. And well, it's very pretty. The colorway is sangria. So mm. it reminds me of sangria. It's delicious. It's super soft. I don't know. Did you get a chance to squish it? Um, I did because oh. you brought it to knitting on Sunday. Yeah, but I don't remember if I let you touch it. Um, let me. <laughs> I just grabbed it. I was like, oh, this is the new stuff. Um, it has cashmere in it, though. So yes. it's soft. Um, it's the name Casbah. <laughs> it's 81% merino, 9% cashmere, and 10% nylon. Mm -hmm. So I think this is going to be, well, both of these that I got are going to be shawls. But um, I was thinking one as a traveling woman, maybe a hitchhiker, because I haven't done either of those. I don't know if you could do the hitchhiker. Though. I know. <clears throat> but if I power through all the you knits. You and your, your thing with all the, because it's Garter. I know. And it's like row after row after row harder. But then on the ends, there's little... For like five stitches, though. It's not like a whole... I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be like something thinking. that you're going to get three points into and be like put away for a year. Or just... We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> just like how it looks. The mm -hmm. finished object. For yes. Me. So um, the other one I got was some Madeline Tosh um, in the color... Or it's uh, the Twisted Light. Um, so it's 75% merino and 25% nylon, and it's the colorway Shire. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it is blues and greens and just lots of different Isn't shades like of loveliness. A Shire in The Hobbit or something. Yes. I really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's never finished any of the Lord of the Rings movies. Um, no, I finished... The first one, I just took a big long nap in the middle of yeah, it. Yeah, so that does not count. <laughs> That's like saying that I finished all the Star Wars movies. And I saw, like, the beginning of the second one for a little bit and then fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like Lord of the Rings. Really well, and like I think this. also the problem is, um, not that I'm not, because, well, I am not interested in it, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> Some people are, and I think that's awesome. There are things that I'm interested in, and other people are not. But anyway. Like Star Wars. Yeah, and so I think that the thing is, is that when I was watching them with John, and when we watch movies, he likes the room to be, like, pitch black dark. Like, darker than a movie theater dark. 
And, um, and that's partially, I think, because he has to read the captions on it. So, um, so I don't think I've ever mentioned this. My husband's deaf. Um, <laughs> so he has to read the captions on it. And I think it makes it easier for him to see them sometimes. I, I don't know, but he likes to watch movies in absolute darkness. And that makes me sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's why, um, we need to try it again. No. I didn't. It's like 45,000 hours long. It is like the longest thing ever. Well, if you so, watch all of them. Yes. We can well, start with The Hobbit. No. I've seen bits and pieces of The Hobbit, like the new movies. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. Uh, so anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Things that I got this week. Um, I got a shipment of the Moon Rover. The Moon Rover <laughs> Fiber Club, the April shipment. Um, so spoilers if you haven't gotten yours. I'm about to show mine in three, two, one. <laughs> so here it is. Um, they don't have colorway names. And I can maybe show it to you. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It helps when I put it right in front of my face. And go, <laughs> Where's the camera? Um, anyway, they don't have colorway names for the monthly shipments that I'm aware of. Because I haven't really opened mine and I don't think they do. Um, but anyway, they just say like Fiber Club, April 2015. But this one is really pretty. It's not like my normal colors because it's kind of jewel toned. There's, you know, greens and purples and really pretty blue it's right in there. Colors. It's kind of a bright color. Therefore, mm -hmm. that's like that portion's my color. Um, but anyway, um, eventually I'll get to spinning it. And then I also got, and we're going to have like lots of geeking out, I guess, happening <clears throat> um, on my end of things um, <laughs> in this episode. Hey, that could be a title somewhere. Geeking Kelly's out. Kelly's geeking know. out. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so we went to the comic book store. <laughs> we went We went to Ikea. Was it last weekend we did Ikea? Yeah, I think it was, so. uh, yes. it was after you got back. back. Yes. Yeah. We went to Ikea because um, we wanted to purchase a futon, and they were out of every futon frame, basically, and I think all of the mattresses in the store. We were going to buy it for the room that we're in right now so that in the future we not have to sit on desk chairs. Um, <laughs> and also... If we have, you know, if John and I have guests come, they can sleep on it or whatever. Anyway, so, and it's really cute, but it's not here. So we went to the comic book store afterwards and I got, because they finally had, I don't know if like it was a delay in printing, because I thought this was supposed to come out a little while ago, um, but they finally had in the Doctor Who comic books, they had the ninth Doctor, which I think, um, I, I, you know, from what I've heard, I think it's like maybe five issues long. It's like a very short run. It's not like the ones that they do with the 10th and the 11th and 12th Doctor, which is going to go ongoing, I guess, until they get tired of making them. Um, <clears throat> I get the 10th Doctor one. I don't get the other two. <laughs> and so, and this I think is also, I haven't read it yet. It's still, in it, I, I haven't even taken it out. I haven't read it because um, I haven't had time. And, um, but I think that it's supposed to have Rose in it too. So I thought that would be very interesting to see. Like, it's like a new adventure with Rose or something. Yeah. So, um, anyway, so that's, and plus the ninth something. doctor is our second favorite yes. doctor. Yes. He actually was like the first doctor I ever saw he, with Dr. Who. Hold on. No, that wasn't the Chan though. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So no, it was. first Dr. Who episode viewing. First two, <laughs> first two episodes were, um, I don't, what are the, I don't even remember the names of the episodes because that's, I, I don't know. But anyway, um, it's when the other, like the math, when the master comes back. Um, and this is going back to David Tennant's run of Doctor Who. Um, so when the master comes back and he's like the old man and he has the assistant whose name is Chan Tho. And so Sandy's first episode she watches have Chan Tho. And when she says things, she has to say her first name and then her sentence and then her last name, like for everything she says. And Sandy's like, I don't know how you like this show because there's this woman on the show who presents Chan Tho all the time. I don't and, understand it. Right. And I was like, well, that's not a recurring character. And then of course, Sandy watches like the next episode and there's Chan Tho again. But, <laughs> but it's okay. Cause I still converted her over. To watch it, it just took a little while after that. Yes, it did. <laughs> that there's other characters so <laughs> not just Chantho and the doctor and, yes so, and Martha Martha was in that one too right That's yeah so that was while. okay with Martha yeah was, she didn't say Martha <laughs> how are you today Jones <laughs> yes <laughs> um so I guess uh that's pretty much all that we have that's new um 
when I was at Eat Sleep Knit, I did get a new bottle of soap, but I did not bring that with me. And sock blockers. Oh, yeah, on the way back, somewhere. um, Hobby Lobby. Oh, at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I stopped off at Hobby Lobby and saw, you know, while I was just wandering, stretching my legs, that they had sock blockers, and they're fluorescent yellow. So, so Sandy will not lose no. hers. Like, I lose mine all the time. But, and they were only, like... They were under eight dollars a piece, so pretty reasonable. Yeah. Right now it is, um, and they're like they're plastic too, yeah, they're right? Plastic like yours. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're blocking some socks right now that I just washed. They're doing their job. Yes. So Block they're at home. Socks. Um. Yeah. So I think that's about it that I got there. But so my works in progress is very limited because I did finish one thing. I'm. I'm working on my plain socks um, past the heel. It's about here for my afterthought. So I have a little bit more left on the leg and then the ribbing and then the heel. So I should have these done if I work on them any um, by the next time. We'll see. Mm -hmm. um, and then the only other work in progress is my fiber. I, I worked on it a little bit last night until my cat decided, hey, I want to play with this some more. So <laughs> things spinning in the air just for me. I'm almost finished with the first half of the fiber. If I can get wow. it, so it's not. I know. And I think I can get it all on this um, one spindle, and then have the other half um, all on the other. So it's just like you know, probably less than a half ounce here for me to do. Yeah, and I'm excited. <laughs> I have no idea what this is going to be. Um, I think it's going to be something that's knit. Oh, probably. <laughs> um, other things that I've been working on I didn't bring um, because it's more the just same. sad. Um, <laughs> not counting the blankets. But so I have a few shawls and one has been my office shawl that I knitted a while ago. It's the fountain pen shawl from um, I think it's Knit Pick Shadow lace. I think so. And it's a deep purple heather color. And it's great in the office. And it's been years and it's never come home with me. And then I noticed, hey, I'm getting like a little hole right up here. And then I brought it home finally after about a month of noticing it. And I fixed that up and I decided to look at all the others. And I've just been using it way too much because there's a bunch of little other areas where the yarn overs, the yarn started a you know, having a little bit of too much love or could be abuse because it's fallen on the ground and chairs have rolled over it a few times. So <laughs> it, it's a good workhorse. And then um, I have a pink one. I forget what the pattern was um, that also had a little hole in it. And then my red one that I wore the other week or the week before that, which is my niece, it came out of my drawer somehow, and... It walked out. Yes, it walked out. It's like, I can't take it. I'm tired of being in this drawer. <laughs> and I found it on the <laughs> ground with a huge hole about, like, that big. So, I'm trying to repair it. I learned a new technique. I forgot to tell you this. Oh, I yeah, learned I how to knit backwards with the right side facing you. Oh, okay. So, because... It Don't they was, use that like an entrelock? Yes. Yes. Which when I tried my hand on entrelock, I did not do that. Just yeah. kept on flipping it over. <laughs> so I didn't realize that at the time. But, you know, it's not too difficult. It took a little bit of a few practice tries. But um, I'm almost done repairing them. We'll see how it looks. And we'll see what I do with that later on. Yes. So what are you working well, on? Well, I'm almost at the end of a row. Um... These, um, I, uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time. This is, we're going into where we were last time where we're like, Hey, we have a podcast and we don't do anything. Um, Hey, I did stuff. It's not that we don't do anything. Um, you know, we both work full time. Sandy sometimes works many, many extra hours. Um, and I am back in school and I'm only taking one class, but it is taking up a lot of time. Um, so anyway, these are the socks that I showed you last time. And look, I just added like four more rows while we started this <laughs> podcast because that's how much work I've gotten done on them. Yes. But then again, these are going to be like working on stuff during, you know, the podcast or while 
waiting in line or whatever. Not that I knit while I wait in line, because I don't usually go places I have to wait in line for a long time. Did you already talk about food product? Before? No, I did not, because that's what? coming up. Okay. Um, because the uh, one of the other projects that I have that I haven't done anything on is the spinning that I'm doing on my Turkish spindle. Um, and I was planning on taking that with me to Free Comic Book Day, because we are going to get there super early this Saturday. So I'll probably, maybe I'll take these and that, and that will give me stuff to keep me entertained while I'm standing outside, and hopefully it won't be hot. Or last year it was rainy. I know last year it was like gross and rainy outside. Yeah, so. if it's rainy, don't spin. Yeah. Well, there's a little overhang from where we were. Like, we weren't like, you know. Okay. Um, Because we got there early enough last year that, and we got there like at 9 or 8.30 or something. Because I think they open at 10, but they do this thing where the first 150 families get a complete set of all the free books. And so we were around the first building. So, and there were people around like the second, third and fourth buildings. Not that our comic book store is like four buildings because it's only like a part of one building, but there's, it's like a shopping center and there's like a theater next to it. Like a, you know, a, not a movie theater, like a stage theater. And, you know, and so it was wrapping all around, all the way around and everything. Um, so that's what I was thinking about taking with me and possibly these because I don't really have to think too much when I work on them. And because I'm sure if I'm sitting in line with all the comic book people that they might be like, what are you working on? What is this? I've never seen such a thing before. Um, kind of like the time we went voting together. Yes. The time we went voting together and when we were, it was early voting um, several years ago, one of the big presidential elections, early voting. And we were outside of our library and the waiting, because, you know, we live in Florida. Let's have all this stuff. Let's wait in lines outside. And, but it was, it was, it October. was a lovely day. It was a nice day. So it was October. So it wasn't too bad. Um, but they had you basically like in the Disney lines or the bank lines when you're like zigzagging through. And so we got in line and we were working on something. Sandy was working on this cowl, but it was like one of these like really long cowls that you could put over your head and use as a hood, or you could use it as a cowl and other stuff. And I was working on a pair of socks and we had these people in front of us. And every time we would turn, we would kind of like see them as we would turn to get, you know, to move forward in the line. And every single time, I kid you not, they would say, oh, by the time we get up there, you're going to be done with that project. Like every single time they said that to us. And both of us were kind of like, hey, yeah, okay. Yeah. Was so, it a little chilly then? Because they're like, oh, you could wear that if you It might have been. Um, I don't remember. I just know it was at our library and it was outside and giant line. Yeah, anyway, I didn't remember it was a cow we, I was working on. Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> I and, remember it was for my dad's wife. Yes. It was, um, yeah. And it it was that really soft yarn. I don't remember what it was. It was like a bluish, whitish color. It was from Joann's. Yeah, from Joann's. It was one of the Joann's brands. But, uh, I think it was a cashmere blend. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, and so, yeah, you were working on that. And I was just doing like some plain socks. And John was there. I think John probably had his PSP at that time. Yeah. And it took us like two or three hours to get through this line. And then someone else who at the time was a member of our knitting group went actually on election day and was telling us, well, I just walked right in and voted. So. <laughs> yeah. So we haven't, I haven't done early voting since then. Because the next big election after that. We went on the day of the election, and that's when we had the car accident coming out, you know, after the voting place. So I do the um, mail-in absentee ballot because <laughs> I haven't had very good luck. So anyway, um, back to so that was a whole big sidetracked <laughs> conversation. But it, it was a story that involves knitting, so that people might or may, might not want to know. One of the other things I'm working on um, are my skew socks. I'm not even going to pull them out of the bag because they aren't any further along really than they were last time. Actually, they are a little bit, but I just have to do the You're leg. The leg yeah. yeah I, well, I'm getting ready to start the leg. Um, so I got through the whole heel part and whatever. Um, they're not that exciting because you already saw the completed one last time and the beginnings of this one. So maybe I'll get some work done on it this afternoon when we later, when we go to Panera. Um, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. You and then <laughs> you're not going to take your other socks. On you. <laughs> <laughs> not that they're boring. They're just like something that's really good. Like they would be like good TV watching, you know, yeah, it's or like something. These socks. Yeah. Um, so anyway, the other thing that I started, because, you know, I need to start more projects. So I haven't done any spinning. I haven't done anything else. Let's start a new project. Yes. I might have convinced her or we were told, reminded we were, her. She reminded yeah. me about um, yeah. last year during baseball season, because I am a big baseball person. Um, so last year during baseball season, we saw, I don't remember, somehow we saw there this infinity scarf that's on Ravelry, and it's the Cracker Jack pattern. And it's not really a pattern, it's more like a worksheet, and it's free. 
it's more like a worksheet like where you figure out stuff and so you pick four different colors you pick a color if the game is like a home game and if there's an away game is a different color and then no yeah well yeah home and away are different colors but it's like a home win is one color and a home loss is another color and a road win is a different color and a road loss and obviously you pick colors that like correspond to the colors that are of the team that you support um and then you just decide you know you do your gauge which I didn't do gauge, um, <laughs> which is why I did the first eight games and then ripped it out and did it again. Um, Cause I thought I'm going to do three rows for every single game, um, three rows of a color. Cause every time they win or whatever, you change colors. And so at the end you have an infinity cowl cause you do a cast on and then you do have, you sew it together and you have an infinity cowl that represents your season um, with all the wins and losses recorded on it. And I thought that was a really cool idea. Um, but I thought, oh, I'll do three rows for each one. And I got through like eight games and it was like this long. And I, there we go. <laughs> it was like this long. And I thought there's it's like about a foot and a half. Right? Yeah. There's like 162 games. It was going to be, and I measured. So I got out my measuring tape and I did some math. Um, and it would have been like an eight foot long cowl if I had gone this way. Like, like, like the, you know, the diameter <laughs> would have been eight feet long, which is a bit long for an infinity cowl, especially when you live in Florida. Um, like maybe there are some other places where you could wrap it around yourself like seven or eight times. But yeah, I thought, well, that's ridiculous. So I ripped it out and I decided to do two rows, um, for every, um, game. And so what I have, and I have it in this bag here and, um, so this is what I have so far. Um, and I'll, it's, I have ends to weave in <laughs> and I have a provisional cast on. So that's what, if you can see even this little tiny bit of pink there, cause that's the yarn I had, but I I'm using the, um, it's patent simply soft. Although the light blue is, I think it's a red heart. Cause I wanted something that would wear well and wouldn't be like too hot and I could just like wash it and whatever. Um, oh, it's red heart soft baby steps, which was new to me. I don't know. It was the right color. That's what I was going for color and not too expensive and something that, you know, I would wear and I didn't make it too wide because again, it's Florida, Florida and it's like a tube. <laughs> um, but anyway, so if you'll notice, cause I, and, and in case you're wondering what team, <laughs> That's what I was about to say. Because we, we live in Tampa, so I support the Tampa Bay Rays, who are, Rays. Yay, who are currently in a three-way tie for first place in our division. Um, and just like two days ago, we were in last place. So, hey. Um, <laughs> and you, you would know that by looking at this scarf if you knew the colors. Because the whites are home losses. <laughs> <laughs> and the light blue are away losses. And then the dark blue are home wins. And the bright yellow are the away wins. So you can see that we do very well when we are away. <laughs> we're like, we don't lose too much when we're away. We win a lot of games when we're at home. Eh, not so much. Um, although we did have like a streak of, I think like four, cause I was putting those in last night. Um, cause they won the game and it was like, I was, I was actually knitting on it. And, um, cause I've decided to knit on them every couple days as opposed to every single day. Oh, let me do two rows today. Oh, let me do two or whatever. Um, so I do a couple of games at a time. So I was like, Oh, I have like four games to put in. So I had to put in some white and I had to put in a navy blue. So I was like, yay, we finally won some games. And then they won the game last night. So I just continued and did last night's game too. And the way that I'm keeping track of it, um, is I printed out their schedule. Oh, that's a really good way. Yeah. Here we go. Wow. Which has their, you know, their home games in the navy blue and their away games are in the white. And then I just write on top of them. And actually I check my app on my phone because I don't, you know, I don't do it every single day. It's like, oh wait, let me check the last few games. And I write like W's and L's on the top. And then when I'm done with that square, um, when I'm done with the, that, that, well, those two rows, then I just make a big X on them. So that way I know where I am in the season and I don't have to go, okay, look, there's a win, there's a win, you know, <laughs> or whatever. So that's my new project. It's an ongoing project that obviously will be taking me through to October. Cause there's no way I can just be like, Oh, let me get ahead. Cause <laughs> <laughs> unless I, you know, he'll get a TARDIS and start time traveling, which that'd be awesome. But... And then we can make lots of money. Yes. Yes. We'll go to Vegas. Okay. Um, <laughs> so and, we can bet on the game. And, 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 I'll be, and I'll be knitting my scarf. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, well, anyway, so money. I don't know how often I'm going to pull this out in the, in the show. Cause obviously maybe it's when it gets a lot every, bigger. Well, yeah. Like, yeah you know, maybe, maybe once a month or something or no, cause we do two shows. <laughs> maybe once every couple months, I'll pull it out and be like, look how long it is now or whatever. Um, obviously if there's, like my if there's a whole lot of light blue and, and white, it might not be pulling it out that much because that means we are losing a lot. So, 
Now, and I think that's it that I had. So, yes. I was thinking. Mm -hmm. I told you earlier, um, I'm going, I volunteered to make my niece a sweater. <laughs> yes. Her um, niece who lives in Hawaii. In Hawaii, so obviously she sees her every weekend. And, yeah. The last time I saw <laughs> her, she was still a little baby, um, under six months old. Um, she's in her teens now. Ish. Teens. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad with dates. I'm lucky I remember my age most of the time, pulling out my phone, doing the math, but that's neither here nor there. So I'm going to make her a sweater. I've uh, been informed that she likes black, gray, or white. So, so it's right up Sandy's I'm alley. okay with that. <laughs> now, I don't know what kind of sweater yet or her measurements, so I'm working on that. But once I find out um, that information... I think I'm going to um, get some yarn from Knit Picks for it because um, they have a nice, uh, like a DK um, super wash wool, and that way they can you know, throw wash it in. It. Yeah, throw it in there, not have to hand wash it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how cold it gets in Hawaii. I know that's, they go. That was up something in the I mountains. was going to say earlier when you were telling me about this. But then I thought I didn't want to look stupid and be like, does it go cold in Hawaii? Because um, I've never been there. I don't know. Yeah, I know when you go <laughs> up in the mountains, it can get really cold and they can have snow. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know about, you know, their yearly temperature. So that's why I'm thinking DK weight, it can go either way. Yeah. But if that happens soon, I was thinking about doing the same scarf, but for the lightning. Yes. And as I was for next Kelly season earlier... Um, I, uh, put some yarn from the picks, uh, the palettes in my wish list so I could remember. And then a few days later I went back in there and I'm like, why is this in my wish list? What was I going to do with it? It took me almost a day to remember what it was for. So now yeah. would you do it for the next season or would yeah. you do it for this season? No, no, no. The next possibly season. Possibly may or may not be over in the next couple of days. Yeah. No, the next season. So, because they, they, they have to win their next game. I know. <laughs> and it's been so, like, nail-biting. But they've been winning away at home. Oh, not a, yeah, they've been winning when they are not at home, right? Yeah. And they're, the next game it's, is Monday, and they're playing not at home. So, maybe. I, I don't know. Yeah. It was, um, <laughs> it was rough. But... You know, since it's so early in the season for the Rays, mm -hmm. even though I'm not a, as big of a fan as you, I don't watch the games all the time. I like going I usually to the knit games. during the games and have them on at home. So, yeah, on the TV. Well, um, I'm thinking that if I go and I get um, the other yarn for the sweater, might as well just throw some of the Knit Picks palette in for the rays as well and I can probably like double use some of the colors because as <laughs> you saw the rays has a lot of blues and whites and then the yellow for a yeah. little star um yeah. the lightning is blues blacks whites so it's really interesting because like the lightning and the rays have very similar color palettes and then we have the bucks who are like maroon or something in pewter yeah so yeah it's just kind of weird in that way yeah, Although the understand. Rays used to be green and white and purple. Yeah, when they were the when Devil they, Rays. When they were the Devil Rays, yeah. That was way before my time being in Florida. I was like, <laughs> you were still alive. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually they, they their team they started the year that I got married. That's how I remember the year, that 1998, when the Rays started. The Devil Rays at that time, though. 1998. Yes, when you were probably still in elementary school. No, because every time I say a date, she's like, oh, "I was still in elementary school." Oh 98, my goodness, I was in high school. We were talking at work the other day about a group of us were talking about the movie The Little Mermaid for some reason, and <laughs> and someone said, "I remember seeing that in the movie theater when I was in elementary school." Me and I too. said, and they were like, "It was 1989," and I'm like, "Yeah, that was my freshman year of high school." <laughs> We also went, um, <laughs> after it was, uh, out for a little bit. Yeah. Um, one of my classes, I don't remember which one, but it was in elementary school and I don't remember why, but we went to the theater to see it pre performed live. Oh yeah. Well, I didn't even, I didn't even see it in the theater when it came out. Um, I saw it on VHS 
Yes. Because um, if you're lucky enough to have a V, you can yes. watch anything. Yes. Sorry. That's one of the <laughs> books that I'm reading for this Discourse Analysis book that is published in 1992. And I was laughing today when I was reading the chapter for this week's assignments because in one part it said something about if you have a computer modem, you can send a message through electronic mail. And then like a few pages later it said um, a good way to get some practice in on whatever, finding these structures of discourse would be to watch television. And if you have a VCR, you can record them and then watch them as many times as you want. And I thought, we've come a very long way. <laughs> you know, I didn't think about that, but isn't that technically promoting illegal activity? I don't know. It was talking about recording a show and just watching it, you know, parts of it again to see how people communicate or something. Yeah, because... Um, but it wasn't like going out and selling it though, because like when we had VCRs, we used to you could record like Murder She Wrote and watch it. The next day. I know you could, but should you? That's the question. Should you? It's just like with a DVR, you know. Like I mean, there are times when I cannot watch some of our shows uh, when they're on because they're on at like ten o'clock at night, and I have to watch them a couple days later. Oh, no. But I'm not going out and like selling them, so no, it's not. I'm old and I'm already in bed. Yeah. So, so anyway. Um, I, I was going somewhere with a VHS. And, oh, I watched The Little Mermaid on VHS when my boyfriend at the time um, brought it to my house to, for us to watch. <laughs> and so that was my sophomore year of high school. Yes. And Sandy's laughing because she knows who this was. We're not going to talk about that. So, finished objects. <laughs> Thank you. Because I have finished objects. And on our notes here, it says, on my, in dark, like, highlighter, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> dark like my soul. <laughs> so I finished the all for one cap that um, I lovingly call the flame cap. As you can tell, there's all the flames on it. Yes. And I still have the ends to weave in, but you no, know, there's the inside. So very nice. I'm happy with it. Um, the other day we were at the drop zone um, for skydiving where um, my As boyfriend for <laughs> dropping things. The drop zone. Yeah. Well, you know, not everybody <laughs> knows drop zone skydiving, so I wouldn't have known if it wasn't for Josh. Um, we were dropping feathers and, like, a pound of feathers and a brick that was a pound to see which one would land first. Okay, well, it would still be the brick, because we're not in a vacuum. Anyway, go ahead. Yes, anyway. Maybe so, the drop zone isn't a vacuum. No, it's not. <laughs> it's more of a fun time. Place. <laughs> but um, I got to, I was about, um, just about to start the decreases in the black. And I uh, hunted down the recipient of this hat, made sure that he tried it on. Did you tell them that I had tried it on 5,000 times beforehand? No. Oh, okay. Just I don't think we get there. Sandy's like, like, try this on. Here, I did three more rows. You need to try it on. Make sure it fits. Because <laughs> I was um, told multiple times, he has a lot of hair. Just remember, he has a lot of hair. <laughs> and the guy does have a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of dreadlock hair. I so, do not have dreadlock hair. But your hair is quite explosive it and is. expansive. So he it's put fancy. it on. And he's like, this is perfect. It fits great. And he loves the... This green, which is apparently called the guacamole green. Guacamole. Yes. So, um, <laughs> I think he'll be happy. He'll just uh, need to finish weaving in the ends and then just do a nice little wash and block. And then he can have it, you know, next week and whenever uh, Josh goes out there next. Yes. But it'll be very nice. That's pretty much all that I, you know, finished. Because I'm still working on these socks and I only had those two things. I did work on some of my hexy flat blanket, mm -hmm. which is in the worsted weight acrylic. I didn't bring any of that stuff. Um, while uh, um, Josh and I were having a movie night. What which... did you watch? Or is it something you can talk about? Yes. It, it was The Hobbit, wasn't it? No. because he We were be... watching nine hours of The Hobbit, followed by like 49 hours of Lord of the Rings. Okay, so they apparently were nobody wants long... to watch The Hobbit. They were, walk... <laughs> they were walking for a long time with a ring. So, like, <laughs> a year or so ago, whenever The Hobbit, like, came out and, you know, we could watch it on, you know, HBO. I don't remember when that was. But I'm like, Josh, let's watch The Hobbit. And he's like, yeah, let's do it. Just not right now. So every time we go to watch a movie, I'm like, hey, can we watch it? Because I wanted to see it. He's like, oh, 
How about we watch this instead? And it's always a war movie. Because he likes war movies. And he also Isn't likes... is there a war in Lord of the Rings? It's not the same, because it's not real. Okay. So... There's, like, people running around yeah. fighting each other. Yeah. Um, so, um, it's between <laughs> that and documentaries. Ugh. Well, some of them, they're okay. Like, I like the house it's made, and... Um, earlier this week, we watched one um, about dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. So dinosaurs are fun. Dinosaurs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like dinosaurs. That's my Jurassic Park reference, and you probably are like, "What is she talking about?" But in the first Jurassic Park movie, they when they're going through the park for the first time or whatever, not even the park, they're in the little like the area, welcome area, the welcome area center. Yeah, and they're, and they're going the through video, and they have the video, and the little DNA comes out. And it's like dinosaur, and so every time I hear that word, I always say it that way. Anyway, yes, it's a little weird fact about me. <laughs> well, and I really like Jurassic Park and yes. Jurassic World is coming and we're going to go see it did you see the new trailer? there no. was a new trailer that dropped this week there was a new Batman vs. Superman trailer there was that it's yeah. I don't care about Batman it's just been Superman. a geek out of a week for some of us I'm not a big Superman fan I'm not either I, I prefer Batman for sure well it's Batman vs. Superman I know and but it's, it's Ben Batman. Affleck as Batman I don't know how I feel about that yet I haven't really decided I hmm. guess I'll have to wait and see. Yeah. I know um, there's lots of people who are very anti. There are some people who like it. I don't know. Still, Jurassic Park. Yes. It's going to be horribly awesome. I'm just with, sure. Um, with the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. I haven't it. watched that yet. Oh. Have you watched it? Yes. <laughs> see, nobody wants to watch these I, type of movies. It was, unless it's a war movie. Oh, so... It there, was was a, a, there was like... <laughs> Not a no, real I actually I watched it with John because we got it on um, MGO or Vudu or something. We um we bought it digitally because we're trying not to buy as many DVDs, and so we're trying for to your save wall space. of DVDs. Goodness, yes. Yeah. Um. So anyway, so we got it digitally, and it's like just a couple bucks more than renting it digitally. So we just went ahead and bought it so we could watch it anytime. Um. I need to watch it again because in the middle of the movie, my mother called and I ended up on the phone with her and it was getting kind of late. So I didn't pause it. So yeah, I do need to watch it again. Okay. See. So let's, we need to plan yes. a time. Let, yes. Let's have a date movie. Night. Because we can watch it um, either here or we can, because you have a Roku. Yeah. So we can I watch it. Roku. Yeah. We could do my account, I guess, on your Roku and watch it or we can watch it here. Yeah. We can, the spare bedroom, which has a futon, we can watch it. In there. Okay. So. Yes. It's a small. Yeah. We'll have to find a time to do that and then we can watch Star Wars and then Lord <laughs> of the Rings so the oh, line's gotta be drawn somewhere anyway so the movie that um, <laughs> I watched uh, besides the dinosaur documentary was um, I think it was We Three Kings is what it's called oh yeah it's yeah. like a war movie yes it's yes. a war movie I've heard of that one I haven't yes. seen it though is that, that the one that had George Clooney in it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I like it. And you know who George Clooney is? I okay. do. Okay. He's from um, the medical... ER. ER, yes. And a whole bunch of other stuff. Yes. <laughs> but I remember him from ER. Because I did used to watch that way yes. back in the day. I watched every season of ER. I did. It was like 20 seasons. <laughs> <laughs> I had never finished it. So, oh. yeah. Well... Um, other things, we both caught up on Broadchurch. Yes, which, which we just finally had the season finale yes. just this past Wednesday. Um, I watched it like yesterday or Friday. I don't remember. Um, but anyway, because, you know, Friday. I have the technology where I can record it and watch it later. <laughs> so I don't have to, I don't have to like watch Not it at 10 o'clock at night. Um, but yeah, it was the season finale, which I think England got like several months ago because I think it ran in England a while ago and we just started ours obviously and had our but this season only had eight episodes because yeah, i saw was, something about it being eight episodes or being episode eight and i was like oh then we must have two more but then at the end of seven they were like and the verdict is and i was like wait what are they going to do for the following two episodes after this week and then i realized it was the season finale and it was a very very short season it really was and i know that they do it on purpose but it kills me every time they like stop like mid sentence Ugh. from episode i'm like no yeah. Wait, it has to be a commercial, right? But. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's been renewed for season three. What so are they going to do in season three? Maybe they're going to investigate the um, attorney's son stuff, maybe? Because remember how um, oh, yeah, the other yeah. attorney was like, I want to work with you or that type of stuff, and I found some ways we can help your son. Maybe. I don't know. 
Hmm. I have no idea what they're Unless they kill a new person. Well, I don't know. We don't Back do we know why he was in jail? I don't remember why he was in jail. Uh, they never said. Uh, maybe they didn't. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe but, that's what it'll be about. I don't know. So I don't know. Do because we want to give spoilers because on they, the... Because they solved, yeah. like, or they had a verdict in one case and they solved another murder. So, I don't know. And they're in very small towns. There are not a lot of people in those towns, so... <laughs> hey, you would think that everybody knows so, what was going well, on. Well, I was but... just thinking not only that, but you would think that, like, would it be like, would they be going to another town? But then the show is, the town is Broadchurch and the show is Broadchurch, so... I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Do, do we, we want to... to give spoilers? Okay, we're going to give spoilers. Yes. So if you're not interested, um, and we'll talk about some other things after that, but it's like TV stuff anyway. So if you have not in seen... Books. In the Well, your book. But, yes. um, or do we want to like come back, visit Broadchurch the last few minutes of the episode so that way people won't miss out on our sure. fascinating discussion? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, so anyways, we'll come, we'll you're back to that. Oh, yes. So, um, Marvel on Netflix, Daredevil. Um, I am slightly obsessed with it. Uh, slightly. Do you see her shirt? I know. I bought it's shirt. brand new, too. It is. Uh, well, I washed it. I mean, well, it's not yeah. like I just got it and put it on. I washed it. Um, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I am on, I just finished um, last night, episode nine. There's 13 episodes, so I have like four left. And I'm already thinking, well, when it's done, I guess I have to start and watch episode one again. Um, <laughs> revisit the season. My husband just started watching episode one yesterday. Um, so, yeah, it's it's amazing. I love it. Um, I don't even know what else to say about it. Apparently it's, we all need to watch good it. And everyone needs to watch it. And it got renewed for season two. Like, it was out for, like, a week because Netflix was kind of waiting. Hey, let's see if it's popular, if people like it, before we decide on a season two. And then they were like, renewed for season two. And I was very excited. And I told one of my coworkers, who I had been talking about the day before, hey, I just started watching Dare Daredevil, blah, blah, blah. You know, and I'm trying not to, like, watch it all at one time. But anyway, um, yeah, about that. I, like, <laughs> write an essay for my class. And then I'm like, okay, I finished this essay. Now I can go watch an episode. And <laughs> Or if I finish this essay, I can go watch an ep episode. But, um... Anyway, I was telling her about it because I knew that she likes British actors because she's like Sandy. She is like the opposite or she's like, I'm, I'm in your role when I'm with her because she will be talking about some actor that's in some British thing. And I'm like, who, what else were they in? <laughs> and <laughs> she has to do the well, same thing. What did thing. they do in that one? Yeah. Um, which character were they? Wait, what? Yeah. They, they said what during the thing? So, so anyway, yeah. so I was telling her who was in it, and it's Charlie Cox, who's a British guy playing the main character of Matt Murdock. And um, so she was like, oh, that sounds really interesting. And then she came into work the following day and said, yeah, so I watched episodes one through seven last night before bed. <laughs> I wanted to pull. And then... How many episodes are... 13. 13. There's okay. 13. And I was only on episode six at that point. So... <laughs> So then um, she said, you know, we were talking so then, like, when I saw online that it was being renewed for a second season, I was like, guess what? It's season two. They're having season two. And we got very excited. <laughs> but season two won't be out till like, next April. So we have quite a while. So I can, I'm sure I can watch it a couple times before then. Yeah. You definitely could. Yeah. It's one that, it, this is why my knitting has been lacking, because, like, it's kind of dark and it's, it's gritty and all that. And you really have to pay attention to what's going on, so I can't really knit while I'm watching it. Not to mention the fact that, you know, the guy that plays Matt Murdock, Daredevil, like, he is not bad to look at. So. So he's very <laughs> distracting. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Yes. Yeah, so that was my um, little geeking out on Daredevil rant. I guess one of the <laughs> other things that just started that we both have listened to is a podcast, um, the Undisclosed po Podcast, which is kind of a follow-up to Serial, but not with the same people, because, um, if you guys haven't heard of Serial or Which listened who to it, hasn't, I, I don't understand. Okay, so I didn't find out about it until, I like, started, the, until, because I started listening to it, right, and yes, then but, got obsessed with that, too. So. But you never told me about it. So I saw it on the news, oh. and it was, like, two or three weeks before oh, the end right. of it, and, and she's then like, I'm like, hey, what's yeah. the Serial thing, and you're like, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm like, binge listening yeah. to it. <laughs> like, Why didn't you tell me this? <laughs> so, so I obsessively listened to Serial and finished the entire, I don't know how many podcasts in, like, two weeks. Yeah. And 
was very sad when it went away. Um, and there's, they're promised us a season two, but it's not going to be the same story. It's going to no. be a different story, and we don't know when it's coming. It's sometime this year, and we're almost in May. Well, they're probably still working on it. I think they're still looking for a story to do. I don't know. They, they probably polished it up a little bit better than we polish this up. <laughs> <laughs> so, but um, we, we are very real. <laughs> yes. Uh, but the undisclosed, <laughs> it's a bunch of lawyers that's going into the case. Well, now, one of them is the lawyer who brought the case to yeah. Sarah Koenig for Serial in the first place. Because she's, uh, she's like a family a friend. friend or yeah. something. Yes. And so, I yeah. was very interested in it because um, it happened up in, you know, near Baltimore. And I used to live up there for a while. So not in that area, but in Baltimore. I didn't live in Baltimore. Area. I live Maryland. near Baltimore. That's all the Ish. Baltimore. Okay. <laughs> it's like Forget Annapolis <laughs> and, you know, whatever. Okay. It's only the state. It's like when anybody says, um, oh, Florida. So you're all at the beach, right? Or so every You go to Disney every day. Yes. Because Disney's on the beach, too. Yes. It's not really. It's in the middle of the state. And there's a lot of <laughs> backcountry here in Florida. Which, yes. when I moved here, I did not realize that. Until after I started this job. I'm like, wow. So there aren't beaches everywhere. <laughs> huh. This is more rural than some places in South Carolina. <laughs> or Kentucky. <laughs> so, yes. It's, um... Yeah. So, um... Reading-wise, I finished... I, about a week ago, I finished Snowflower and the Secret Fan. Um, and I really liked it. I haven't really started anything since then because I've been reading about discourse analysis. Or watching Daredevil. Or watching Daredevil. <laughs> but I usually read at home anyway. Although the, today I was reading chapter one of discourse analysis. Yay. And um, <laughs> I'm almost at the end. I have uh, less than, you know, an eighth of the book left to read for... Um, oh, I didn't even write it down which one it is. It's Delirium. That's right. Delirium. So, oh yeah, that's right. With love is a disease. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's some really good light reading. So, and I'm getting to the part where um, she's pretty much being forced into uh, what happens when you uh, turn like 18 and you get cured of the disease. So it, everything's up in air on oh, what's no. going to happen next. Because now she doesn't want to get cured. Oh. She's found love. She's been world. infected. Where love is a disease. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and I didn't realize how long the Outlander book one was. I listened to it all the way to Atlanta. Minus maybe about a half hour. Where I listened to just the radio. And got some music. And then all the way back here. And then... So that's like 14 hours right there. And then a few hours throughout the week. So I'm like a good 18-ish hours into it. And I still have a wow. third part. Oh my goodness. I know. It's a really big book. Apparently. I have the book on my bookshelf. I just Because I started reading. Well, how thick I just, is it? It's thick. Um, I don't know. We'll look at it later. Yeah. Because um, I started but reading it. it's really it good. Just... Oh, so... Okay. <laughs> and I like how she does the accents for me, so... Because I can't do accents at all comes out Swedish. She does. <laughs> so, yeah. She's like, hey, Kelly. So there was the Spanish person. They were like, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It really does. Yeah. <laughs> so I like how she has to do the accents for me, and she does a very good job. Good for her. Which I don't know the narrator's name. What's the... But. Who was... Oh, gee. Oh, it's under my big pile of stuff that's not shelved. That's why I'm like, why am I not seeing it? Because it's under that... Oh. Right behind, it's behind that big... Yeah, it's probably like a few inches thick. Yeah. Because... <laughs> and then there's a lot of books afterwards. So I'm yes. very excited. And um, my oldest niece, who I'm not making this sweater for, um, who is in Washington... Um, I was where they need sweaters. Yeah, where they need sweaters. <laughs> I'm going to make her some fingerless gloves that she um, asked me for. And I've knitted her other things, um, like a hat and mm -hmm. 
uh, Infinity Cow in her cougar colors because she goes to WSU. So go Cougs. <laughs> go Cougs. Cougs, that's that's their thing. Why Cougs. Say go Cougars. It's, it's too much for them. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I was talking to her the other day about it, and she's like, yeah, I was wanting to watch the show. I'm like, well, you should read or listen to the audiobook. Well, read the book or listen to the audiobook. Because you can't read the audiobook. But anyways, yeah. Um, <laughs> So read the audiobook. <laughs> you should. And listen to the book book. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really good. You need to do it. So hopefully um I've convinced her, but we'll see. Yeah. Um I think uh I can get her more into the audiobook with her uh, work schedule for school than actually reading the book. Yeah. All right, so if you do not care or do not want to be spoiled about Broadchurch, yes. we will see you guys in two weeks when we will be back with episode four, and it will be May, and uh, it's going to be May. Anyway. <laughs> I have no idea where that came from. Or what's that? It's like the sync. There was an sync song that was It's Gonna Be Me, and when Justin Timberlake would sing it or whatever, it sounded like he was saying It's Gonna Be May, and so it's all over the internet. Every May first, like you'll you'll probably see it. Maybe I don't know. It's always all over, over Facebook, like a picture of Justin Timberlake. And it's like it's gonna be May. Yeah. And how long has this been going? Several on? years. I have never seen this. It's been several years. And like even on the radio station I listen to, they play that in the morning, like on May first every day. Well, not every year, not every day. Every day that it's May first, they do. But anyway, hopefully when we are back, we will have the futon. So we will not have this backdrop. We'll have like a blank wall <laughs> and maybe a shelf. We'll, we'll try and, you know, decorate it up a little, little bit. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we're going to get the shelf up by then, but anyway. No, but maybe some other stuff. Anyway, um, yeah. not that this is a bad background, but like I said, the chairs, you know, and We have pillows stuff. this time. We do have pillows this time. So it's very comfortable. So, so um, but there's the pillows on the futon, too. Thank you. The futon's very cute. Um, I'm excited. I assume that can actually get it. Um, <laughs> that they actually have them in stock. Um, but anyway, so like I was saying, we will see you guys in two weeks and, um, I guess we'll go on and talk about broad church for a few minutes and then get off to our knitting group. Yes. Which is like three of us. Two of us are here. So it's not like we have to really rush. No, but I'm getting a little hungry. Too. I'm getting really hungry. So I'm looking forward to my chicken salad sandwich. And mac and <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're, I'm going to get. I order they... the same thing every week. And they always take away the stuff that I really like, like the barbecue chicken flatbread. It's yeah. delicious. But so anyway, broad church. Yeah, broad church. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. I. Uh, so. And we haven't discussed this, like, because even no. when I was like, Sandy, I finished watching, and I sent her a message like the day I did it. So it was probably two days ago. I was like, I finished watching it. No response from her, except for like, hey, so. I don't know. I painted my toenails. I don't know. Something. I did paint my toenails. <laughs> Some other random thing. And then when I saw her today and I was like, did you finish watch? Cause I thought, Oh, maybe she just hasn't watched it. I'm like, did you watch it? And she's like, Oh, I did, but we're not going to talk about it until we do the podcast. No. And I was like, Oh, okay. Because then it's going to be repeating the same stuff. Cause we and... never do that. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. So one of the things that I learned from training is the first time you say something, everything comes out like more in more detail than the second time you're like, cut down about half. Third or, you know, any other times, it's like a 30 second, you know, whatever. Okay. So, um, if you guys, uh, well, I'm sure you guys already know if you've watched it. Um, so and that's why you're watching this <laughs> yes. part and stuck around. Yes. So there's the two, um, you know, uh, murder cases. Yes. And, um, the first one, I, or well, the current one with the the boy Danny the main one yeah the main like one like that was from season 1 yes yes so just throughout the entire time i don't know i just had the feeling that you know he was going to get away with the not guilty yes verdict so i mean that wasn't a big surprise for me but having the previous um uh, murder of the two girls um that just showed up in the second season. Well, they talked about it very briefly yeah, in the first very season. Very briefly. Because it was yeah. basically, that's why, like, D.I. Hardy, like, left wherever he was and came to Broadchurch and took the position there because he had been disgraced by what had happened with that case and the, I don't know, shoddy police work or whatever. Yeah. 
And like during the entire time that they were going through all the evidence of that, I'm like, you know, that person, there's something not right with them. But you know what? That person, there's something not right with them too. There's too many things that, you know, these people are leaving out. Yeah. But it can't be all of them. Yes. <laughs> so that's I was not even said to you. I was like, um, what's her face? Claire. I was like, yeah. Claire is involved somehow. Claire is involved somehow. And I thought she was like going to be a lot more involved. But yeah, then we found out everyone else was involved. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, what the hell? How could it be everyone? It's never everyone. I know. So there was like three people involved in the um, first murder, either murdering or accomplices. Yes. So, I mean, that was a huge shock. I'm Well, and I'm then very the second murder the of the little girl. Pardon? The little girl. Because the first murder was the was the blonde was a, chick. Yeah, it was the babysitter. <laughs> yeah, the babysitter. And, and then cousin. and then the girl. Yeah, which there was a lie in between the whole murder thing on that yeah. one. So, ugh. Now with them showing that, I don't actually know what they told the cops. Because I thought that they told the cops that yeah, we gave her something to drink and then, you know, used the pillow. But then they were telling the other guy that there was like no pillow. Yeah, I don't know. So, I don't know. I, that kind of blew my mind. And then at the very end with David Tennant and getting in the cab, they're like, where are you going? He's like, I don't know. I know. He so like, is he even going to be there next season? I hope so. I think so. Well, actually, he's, well, I don't know. Because he now works for Marvel also because Netflix, what? in addition to having, did I not tell you this? No. <laughs> I told you this like two weeks ago. In addition to doing Daredevil, Marvel is doing like four series, which um, they're doing four different comic books into a series to make up um, the, because like they're the movies, they have the Avengers, you know, so yeah. it's like Iron Man, they all have their own movies and all that stuff. And then they put them together into the Avengers because there's the comic book, the Avengers. Well, there's another, like, because I guess in comic books, there's lots of different like groupings, like superheroes, I guess. Get, well, I, even in DC, there was the Justice League and all that stuff where they like, hey, I'm not going to fight this by myself. Let's get a team of all of us superhero people. And um, so there's one called the Defenders and it's Daredevil and like three other people. And so um, Netflix is ha making a series for each of those four people. Instead of doing like a movie, they're making like one really long movie that's like over 13 episodes. Hmm. So that's why we got season one of Daredevil and we're getting season two of Daredevil because it was so popular. Um, but they also are doing one that's called, I think, Iron Fist. Um, I'm not really familiar. I'm familiar with Daredevil. I'm not familiar with these other three um, at all. I'll have to like look into it or something. I don't know. Um, Luke Cage because obviously if I'm going to watch the Defenders thing, then I have to know who these other people are. Um, and they each have their own series. And then there's also AKA Jessica Jones. And that one, which I also don't know much about, David Tennant is going to be in. That's all I know about it. It's a, it's an AKA is he Jessica a Jones. Guy or I don't guy? know, but he's filming it now. Um, because there were pictures. I showed you a picture of ins on Instagram, like two weeks ago. I probably or didn't realize what those were. And I was like, yeah. And uh, cause you probably were like, uh, come in. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, like, okay. So they each are getting like a, you know, they're and Netflix. I think said that like once they tell the, each character's story, then they're gonna make like a mini series type thing that's gonna be like a really long, like probably thirteen episode like movie of um the Defenders. But it started out with Daredevil because he's the first Defender, I guess. Well, I mean, I don't know if in the comic books, yeah, he was, if he was the first one. But anyway, um, so I don't know if David Tennant's coming back because. He is in, um, AKA Jessica Jones. Huh. Yes. Well, I guess and we'll just have to Marvel. wait to see. So, yeah. Well, I anyway. think that's it, right? Yeah. I know that's like a down note. I'm like, I don't know yeah. if he's, but he'll be huh. on something. <laughs> yeah. He's, and he's coming to New York. Did I, t I did not tell you this. He's coming to Broadway, um, in his, um, geeking out. That has got to be our, t our title. <laughs> um, he's got to be. Kelly's he's, geeking out. Yeah. Um. Kelly's Geek Fest. I don't know. Something <laughs> we'll think of something clever or not. She'll um, make us something clever. I'll so, just write it. So, so anyway, he was in. I believe it was Richard the Second over in Eng England on stage performing when he had like the, those pictures that we saw where he had like oh, the yeah. long hair, like the weave for the long hair, and he was. I think it was Richard the Second, one of the Richard plays by Shakespeare. Anyway, they're bringing it to Broadway. I think in 2016. Huh. Yes. So, in other words, you want to go to New York in 2016. That would be very, very nice. But you can't go alone <laughs> in case you meet him. Right, I know. Because <laughs> I cannot meet the celebrities. Oh, it's bad. 
And they this is be, like they baseball be like, players. I can't yeah, even, like, minor celebrities or yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm her in between. She's my interpreter. <laughs> yeah, she interprets when I'm like, he's like <laughs> here. and she's like, it's very nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you are. <laughs> So that, that's that's happened only a few times. Yes, and uh, like it's a famous person over there. You're like Sandy, go. <laughs> What's his name? I'll just figure it out. <laughs> just point me to the person. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's a better note to end on. Yes. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Yes, thank you, and happy crafting. <laughs>